Hey, what's happening, everybody? Survivor Series 2021 is in the books and here to review it. The job, guys. That is Nick. I am Ryan. Nick, last time we were here, we were shocked at how good Crown Jewel was. One of the best WWE pay-per-views that we have, man, that we could remember at least this year. I thought it was the show of the year for WWE, probably going back even another year. It was that good. Tonight, uh, the exact opposite. It sucked. This show was bad, man. It stunk. I did not expect a lot going into this, Nick. Didn't think it would be great. I don't like this whole brand supremacy thing, even though it was turned down a little bit this year. But, dude, this show wasn't good at all. Terrible. No, we asked. <laughs> Ironically, me and you asked. We, we had been sick of the last few years, the invasion angles, right? where one one side would just come in and jump the other side on their show. We were like, please do something different. Well, this also <laughs> illustrates that different is not always good. <laughs> um, you know, they did do something different. There was no invasion angles this year, but um, yeah, it just a throwaway. I mean, the definition of you gave away big time matches for nothing on a worthless pay-per-view well and, and the big news yeah, the best match of the night was ironically at the piston game uh lebron james against isaiah I Stewart, heard, which i turned off right before it happened to watch this pay-per-view so uh bad move by me yeah uh, uh very very bad move by me on that <laughs> behalf the big news tonight was what didn't happen no rock now Let's talk about it because back in the summertime, Dave Meltzer, whoever, people were saying, hey, The Rock's going to be at Survivor Series. That's going to kick off leading into their match at WrestleMania. This will be the start. Well, then that cooled way off. I don't know what happened. Whatever. There's people out there saying that the Usos, uh, the night of the draft, that all got changed because The Rock wasn't going to be here. We are not getting Rock. We are not getting Roman this year at WrestleMania. Well, all of a sudden, then this is Rock 25, and they start hyping that. So people are like, all right, he's got to be at the Survivor Series, right? He's got to be there because it's his 25th anniversary. Well, then they stopped doing that, too. For the whole month, they mentioned right. nothing of it until again this week they started it. So everybody got excited again. I believe well, There was no Rock here tonight. I believe Roman even, I think it was Jimmy Fallon. He went on this week, and he asked him about if he'd like to fight The Rock. Right. And he, you know, kind of played. He hadn't heard not anything right. about it, and but he'd be down to do it. You know, so, yeah, they started pumping it this week. Yeah, and Paul Heyman as well with Ariel Hawani. Um, he said he was not going to be here. He's like, if you think he's going to be there, you're going to be very disappointed. He's not going to be there. But Ariel thought he was going to be as well. Anyway, he was not here, but – numerous numerous hints that literal he is easter showing eggs. up <laughs> literal easter eggs <laughs> just... right so nick talk about that right from the beginning on the pre-show vince gets out of a limo we have not seen vince on tv for so long all of a sudden he's there with this giant egg which i didn't know what the heck it was this giant gold brass bronze egg now in the open for survivor series they had everything tied into The Rock's movie, this Red Notice movie. And Ryan Reynolds was holding that egg in that thing. So I was like, all right, that's part of the movie. Um, I have not seen the movie yet. So anyway, um, they, 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 go ahead. Talk about that, Nick. And then that continued yeah. throughout the night. Yeah, you've got, you got some Rock, um, former Survivor Series moments, a, a WrestleMania moment. You got this Easter egg. You've got a rock bottom by Roman Reigns in the match. You know, um, there were quite – he is the one – they, what did they say, the one true oos? How did yeah, you – right when he was walking down the aisle, Pat McAfee, who was undercutting creative all night, by the way, which we will talk about. But he comes out and he has a planned line that says he's the biggest oos of all time. There you go. Yep. 
And then also in the match, Paul Heyman, right at the very beginning, they were doing something like Roman was distracted or something like his mind wasn't exactly right. And he pulled him out and he told him, you're the head of the table. And he started naming all the guys in the family, going back to Yoko Zuna, right. naming all the guys in the family. Then he hits a rock bottom during the match and they made sure they mentioned that it's a rock bottom because other people do that move, including Becky right. Lynch, I believe, and they don't right. call it <laughs> the rock bottom, you know. <laughs> you got to assume, and like we said, Ryan, this has got to happen. Did you hear the crowd tonight? Um, guys, we can't do another year. I mean, Excuse it me. was fit. If Biggie is your biggest baby face in the company right now, that crowd was 50 50 split um, from what I was hearing chanting. You go, I, I mean, not to mention we don't have people, we've said this people to fight, but this match has to happen at this WrestleMania. Wow. There's no it one has else. to happen now. There's no one else. And he's, even... he's going to be a face by this point next year, if my, my calculations are correct. I mean, Roman, he's undefeated. People like winners. People like Dom. Why did we cheer Hogan? It wasn't because he lost all the time or right. he's 50 50 booked. You know, he, the, the guy won all the time. The Warrior right. won all the time. You know, these were the Roman is going on over a year undefeated, and people are starting to cheer him. Even though he is a heel, he's starting to feel the momentum from the fans. Or, or as we've said, it's going to go the other way, and people are going to be, I'm done with this. Because he's going to be, who's left for it him could. to fight now? He just beat Big E clean as a whistle, by the way. Yes, no interference. And it, it, who is he going to fight now? Like, who, who is he going to fight? Jeff Hardy? His name is Jeff Harvey. Hardy. He has to fight The Rock. He also, to. another thing. The rumor was, okay, The Rock's out. That's going to be next year. He will fight Brock Lesnar again at WrestleMania. They come out right before the match here tonight. Kayla Braxton tells Paul Heyman, um, the suspension for Brock is no longer indefinite. We know he's bought a ticket to the show at the Staples Center here in two weeks, right. whenever that is. Now the suspension's not indefinite. That tells me he is either fighting at day one or at the Royal Rumble, he will fight Roman. Right. This which is, then opens up the yes. rock. And if you didn't see our other shows, I've been saying since day one of the announcement of day one that it's not just called day one because it's on January 1st. There's more meaning to this being called day one. Day one-ish. Day one, oos. Down since day one. Yeah. The I, day I, one, I, big oos well, shows up at the end. Of this pay per view, he's got you, you got to assume, and we've talked about this on the last one, Ryan. That day, you're going up against not only some marquee college football games, yes. you've also got a winter classic going on that day with the NHL. You've got to come strong, and Roman Reigns versus Jeff Harvey is not going to cut it, you know. I, I mean, it's it's just not going to do it. Or King Woods. Or any, anybody on this back freaking poster. It's yeah. not going to cut it. Rey Mysterio, Randy Orton, Matt Riddle. It doesn't matter. It's got to be Brock Lesnar. And you, you got to assume he's going to defeat Brock Lesnar. And I assume The Rock will close the show. And if not, I mean, with all the hints today. Right. No people are mad that he wasn't there today, which is understandable because you would think with all the hints that he would have shown up today. And if I would have bought a ticket, I'd be I'd mad be anyway because yeah, the show too. was terrible. But I'd be mad that The Rock wasn't there. But you cannot do all the hints they did today, and he's not going to show up at some point between now and the Rumble. He for has enough, to. Yeah, he's not going to show up for another 16 months or something like <laughs> right. that. Though. Like, I, I mean, this this makes no – I mean, he had – They call him the top to oose. Heyman tells him all this stuff. He does a rock bottom. They have the egg, which Vince, we didn't even really talk all about that. The egg from that movie, Vince was telling him, hey, The Rock gave me this. It's worth $100 million. The Rock gave this to me. Now it got stolen. They're going to carry this over into tomorrow where they're going to do an angle with it on Raw. I mean, you don't do all that stuff if this guy's not. Ryan, they, they don't do all that stuff for him to fight yep. <laughs> Rick Boogs. I'm going to throw you know? one to you. You mentioned on the phone to me last week. You're, this is more your field than mine. 
that stadium that they have for WrestleMania holds how many people, Ryan? Well, well they had 100 at the last Mania. Okay. And 100 at the two, NBA All-Star. You're going you're to do two shows. Right. At this WrestleMania. Right. You're going to sell 200,000 tickets. To on, see what? It's got to be on night two. It, it has to be to sell these tickets. There, there's, there, I, I don't know. Well, here's points. the other thing, Nick. What, what I told you there was this WrestleMania was supposed to be one day. One night, Remember right. when they did that big commercial before? They're like, hey, we're going back to Tampa, and then next year we're going to Dallas. That's going to be one day. And then the next year after that's in L.A., two days. Right. All of a sudden, this became a two-day event. They don't have a guy on the card that can make it a two-day event. Right. And the uh, only uh, way they're adding an extra 100,000 tickets if they know they got the rock in the bag. Right. If not, they're, odd, they're crazier than we all think they are anyway. He's an idiot. They yeah. got to. Comes from upbringing. It, 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 it ha all signs are pointing. I, I mean, there's just... Yeah. I, I will be shocked. And I, at this point, I, I can on, I'll go on the limb and say WrestleMania is going to be a bust if the rock's not there. This is going to be a major letdown. This is going to be a nightmare for the WWE. Um, they, they can't carry it on a string us down this path like this and not give the rock. Yeah, oh, I completely agree. And, I mean, Heyman, I've heard other people say it because he's in Hollywood. Well, you got to have that fight in Hollywood. I don't care where it's at. Me neither. It doesn't matter. It could be on the freaking moon. I don't care. And The Rock's not anywhere. getting any younger. He's, I mean, if he's healthy now, that's also a key. Right. Anything can happen to anybody. Right. Do the match while you can. That too. Absolutely. And, and again, it's a pay-per-view. It's not Raw. But can you tell where Raw is every week? No. They all look exactly the same. So it doesn't matter where it is at. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Like, have it anywhere. People will go. People will be excited. And they might not be in 18 months. Right. You know, they want to see it now. And they need it now. Anyway, while we're on the topic, uh, line of the night did come from The Rock when Vince was showing him this egg thing. He goes, it's worth $100 million. And Roma goes, yeah, just like my next contract's going to be. Just like my next. That, that was good. That was good. I saw a lot of people Roman online. Can't, Roman can't cut promos, though, and talk, No, he's though. terrible. Yeah, he's terrible. And also, when can I ask, when can I expect to see Hangman on late-night television? He wasn't on uh, any of the shows this week. I don't know. Omega I, I, wasn't on. I, oh, maybe but, I missed. I, but, Roman was. Well, Otis was on, uh, Colbert, <laughs> and Roman Otis. was on everything. Becky Lynch yeah. was on everything this week. Yeah. Big E was on everything, including doing the intro for Sean Porter last night, the big fight with Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter. Um, yeah. How about the match, Nick? Let's just jump right to the last match since we're talking about Roman and Big E. Man, this match was slow until the it last couple minutes. I was very bored until the last couple of minutes. It, they went back to the whole talking thing that they did a lot yeah. of during Remember the Thunder COVID. Dome. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, man. What do you think about um, it? I thought the right off the bat, not before we even start here. Match having a weak build that they've only really, uh, I mean, what W E A K, a very weak build. Um, they've only built it for like two weeks. It's a, and about it's with the Woods. blood. It's about the bloodline beating up Kofi and Xavier, combined with the rumors of the Rock. Combined with Big E not really being over, I thought really overshadowed this match and you wasted this match. This match happened too early. This is why I hate this card. Um, it had a few couple cool points. Big E turning Roman's choke into a big ending was freaking sweet. That yep. took some power. Yep. Um, and then I liked uh, the sit-down powerbomb by Roman. Man, he picked up Big E's not a small man either. And he picked him up and did that sit-down arm power bomb. The two dudes can work. It wasn't a great work match. I think it was okay. But, again, Big E did not need this loss. No. Um, and clean, I, again. Clean as a yep. whistle. Yep. I mean, so Roman I, doesn't beat anybody clean, man. I mean, he needs help to beat Woods. I'm just not a fan of this pay-per-view, the way they do it. Because I, Big E left tonight worse than he arrived. Yeah. 
Yeah, I and totally I, agree. I don't like that. Yeah, could, and he and the thing is, he's a new guy, and yep. he's on his way up. And he is. We have immediately been told because Roman is. If Roman's a ten, the next best guy's a six, and yeah, we seven. have been told that he's maybe a seven. Yeah, right. And we are told that is where Big E is as well. Big E is right here. Yep. I mean, he hung with him and everything, and he did the Hulk up after the couple Superman punches. He hulked up and then speared him out onto the floor. That was sweet. But well, then he lost right after that. But and God forbid you need. I mean, let's let's not say let's say The Rock can't do Mania. This match is out. Right. Yeah, We've we already seen it. it. He's beat him it. clean. You know, I'm not, I mean, again, I'm, I'm thinking worst case scenario, you know, Rock gets hurt or something or whatever. You just can't do it. You can't, this match, we've seen he beat him clean. Right. I, 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 waste of a match. Yeah, I didn't waste. like it at all. He did not need to be knocked down a peg as the nope. champion, as a new champion, and as a champion that they really hot-shotted to get in there. And I'm going to keep reiterating this throughout I'm going to keep reiterating the fact throughout the show. You, you're watching guys not really benefit from winning, and the losers really got hurt tonight. Yeah, in my opinion, uh, that I this is this has turned into the worst pay per view. I think as far as like damage to your talent. Yeah, well, because you 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 got guys losing, and then they're going to act like it didn't happen, right? You know? And well, we know it happened. You know, we know it happened. And, and we, you've got we know contra- Reggie Bush won the Heisman right. Trophy. You know, don't tell me they didn't. Or he and did. you've got and you got controversial or endings or situations in here that look like there need to be more explained. They're going their separate ways tomorrow. Right. right. You know, it, it just I don't know. I don't like this pay per view. So let's go all the way back to the pre show. They, uh, they're talking the whole time. And then uh, Nakamura and Priest, the IC versus U.S. title match. Uh, this is when I switched because I heard of what happened in the Piston game. So I'm like, oh. I'm out of here. I'm going back to the Piston game to see LeBron uh, punch, punch Isaiah Stewart. Uh, Rick Boogs, I don't know. I know some people like this guy. I Whatever, man. It just it does nothing for me. Um, um, I didn't watch this match. Uh, I, what happened? I want right. Oh, sh- it, it wasn't a great match, really. To me, illustrated the irrelevancy of these two belts. What have you done to these two belts that they're on the pre-show and there's a 25-man jobber battle royal that you're putting on the show just to get Omas over, man? Right. Um, I don't know. Shinsuke has had the title since August 13th. You never. Priest know. has had the title since August 21st, SummerSlam. These guys could not be more irrelevant. I had something for you on here. Um, did you know this, dude? Damian Priest has lost one match since his Raw debut on February 1st, and that was a handicap match versus The Miz and Morrison. Other than that, this dude is undefeated, and right. you would not know it. Right. This guy has been completely overshadowed at WrestleMania by Bad Bunny and never got up from this, in my opinion. Um, I, 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 this guy is caught in limbo. Match had zero purpose. It didn't help either superstar. It seems like Priest might have turned heel at the end. Let's hope they heard. do something with him because he's caught in limbo right now, man. Um, and, and I still don't know what he is. Like, me neither. I, he's just a guy who has a different look. Like that, and That's have all to, I know. And they may, Ryan, I don't know if this is going to come out right. They may have to do this again because – the cheap shot he took is on Shinsuke, so he hits him with the guitar. Shinsuke's going to SmackDown, so there's going to be no repercussion now. Right. The other right. dude comes back to Raw, so I assume he's going to have to do some other mich- mischievous or yeah. devious stuff because he can't keep the angle going because you have this pay-per-view where guys go different ways. Yeah, yeah, I, I did see the end. I don't understand why you even – did that, and that's another thing with this pay per view. There were so many count outs and weird, wonky finishes and whatnot. It's like, why even have this then? Yeah, like I don't know. And then, and then your biggest guy, your world champion, gets pinned clean, right? <laughs> but anyway, so that happened. But don't let then, Shinsuke get pinned, right? Yeah, but but yeah, who loses constantly? Don't right. let Shinsuke get pinned. To the guy who has only lost one match and it was a handicap match in a year. No, right. don't do that. 
But pin Big E, though. Okay. So uh, I then did turn it back on, and as soon as I turn it on, I see Vince come out of a limo. Like, what the heck? And then he's holding this egg, which we talked about. And there were people standing all around. I don't know if this has to do with the movie or what, but wrestlers and, like, the management were back there clapping and, like, over-the-top, goofy clapping. Like, what is going on here? I don't know. Anyway, there were AEW chants during the pre-show. Just thought yeah. I'd throw that in there. Um, so then, very first match, women, title for title, uh, Becky, Charlotte. This match had the most juice, as everybody knows, because I don't know if it's a work or what, but they're pretending or legit saying these two do not like each other anymore. They apparently got in a fight a couple weeks ago when they traded okay. the belts. Yeah. Yep, they got, they got in a fight so backstage. They've been shooting on each other on interviews all week. And, uh, yeah, pretty good match. I thought, I thought the package beforehand was awesome. Booze big time for Charlotte as she walks the aisle, had a hot start right at the bell. Like it should be, if this is a grudge match, Charlotte did a good job working the crowd who hated her. Um, but here we go again. No one wants to boo Becky Lynch. No one. They don't want to boo this girl. And now you got a heel heel match against Charlotte, who is legit people don't like. And she's going around real life saying that she got in Charlotte's face backstage because Charlotte's a bully and everybody hates her. More reason to like this girl. It's a heel heel match. So of course they're going to cheer Becky, who is now going to go back to her show and be a heel. You gave them more reason to cheer for her because of this stupid match yep and then she wins by cheating the heel who everybody likes it was just dumb nick a good match though i did not like the finish though roll up I, referee uh charlotte had the rope referee counted then so oh, you're on the rope becky then flipped her right over grabs her rope herself one two three that's the finish right I, wonky. I, I think it was charlotte catching some of her own medicine Type yeah. deal, you know, she's the dirtiest player in the game. But again, let's say it again. They gave away a WrestleMania match, a possible WrestleMania match. Which right they here. still could do with that finish. I guess because they got the finish. But again, I, I, I don't – it felt like the only match on the card, I'll tell you this, with a decent story. Yeah. Um, with like any said, story. That, that, that's – it felt like – but again, Charlotte, I guess, could take the loss because it's one of the things. She's won so she many belts loses. and lost so many belts. I mean, she's just – it just is ridiculous how many right. times she's been champion. Right. But um, yeah, it wasn't a bad match. I I noticed that not there was a few points that did not go smooth though in this match where they I didn't think it was one of their better worked match. It was okay. Um, but again, I just not a match we needed to see right now. I thought could have been built bigger. Could have happened on the grandest stage of them all with this feud because this feud, like you said, felt real. Yeah. I I, I you know or they're so, playing I mean, it like it's real. I mean, I don't know. To me, they wasted it because now, again, these ladies are going to retreat to their respective shows. Right. Yep. I mean, and I, the the finish really ticked me off. And I'm like, man, they do so many of these goofy finishes nowadays. It's like, man, if you didn't think Pat Patterson was important back in the day, you know, they say he's the best finish guy of all time. And I'm like, man, I'm like, good grief. They missed this guy. But I mentioned earlier, McAfee, this was the first time that he undercut creative as soon as the match ends he's all pissed and he says quote this match was way too good to end like that i'm like yeah that's what we're all thinking too this match was way and he was pissed he kept saying it this match was too good to end like that I'm like yeah it's because you, you well, your people don't know and you booked yourself into a corner and that's why they have to have these matches and corny because they can't you, like you said, you're stuck. You you can't have every match end clean or even a majority of them because you got champions versus champions. Yeah, you're trying to save the champion's face a little bit, unless you're meanwhile, biggie. Meanwhile, though, it doesn't it doesn't help the victor, and the loser still loses. Right, right. So I mean, yep. I and, and in your case, what you said with Charlotte, she got beat at her own game. Right, she got beat at her own game. So I did write down, like, I think they'll fight again at Mania. 
Um, yeah, I did not like the finish. I thought the match was fine. You're right. There were some choppy parts. Charlotte completely misses the moonsault. And they, it was outside, so bad yeah. they had to call it out. But then they showed a replay of it. They, they did that with a back move, too, where she spun around and almost missed a back elbow and just kind of headbutted her. Yeah. And they showed that again. Yeah, I just didn't think this flowed as well. I like I, I overall this was not a good pay per view. <laughs> well, and that was I think the best match of the night. So what does that tell you? Yeah, um, could have been. I don't know. At the end, Becky said something to the camera like, "Tell your dad, tell the dirt sheets, tell everybody that I'm the best." Um, She's great. I love Becky. I mean, she can pull off this gimmick. I I like watching her. But, but again, people want to cheer. So. Yeah, they do. So then we get our first traditional Survivor Series match, the five-on-five, five, whatever. Dude, they introed every single guy. And not only did they intro them, they, like, did, trying to tie it all together, they did some kind of story with them, so then they'd show a flashback to something that happened, which I understand they're trying to give you this story of everything, but, dude, The Undertaker thought these intros were too long. Like, this was insanity, man. Yeah, they had it was. 10 dudes. It was from bell to bell, from the Becky match to the, the start of this match. 19 minutes. 19 minutes. Bogus! Seriously. Ridiculous. Like, I, like the Iron Sheik at WrestleMania 17, where he's like, the, it's going to be WrestleMania 39 before 30. he gets there. That's yeah. the way this felt, man. It did. Oh. It did. And I, Ryan, I just kept writing down questions. Hey, the, these matches, if you remember back in the day, the reason why the traditional ones did work, and, and people don't put this, the talent was spaced out. Like Hogan, the Warrior, and Savage weren't all on the same freaking team. Right. You know, they were so they were captains of their own. Right. So you can have the big name guys all won their matches. What you're doing here is you're putting a lot of top tier because you're only having one match. You got guys like Bobby Lashley, like um, Finn Balor, like um, Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, and the list can go on. Guys that don't need to really get pinned. Guys yeah. that you're trying that, that should be if you had a whole card of traditional captaining a match. Maybe one of them goes down, but you know it, this. This is just not a good situation. You got to try to find a way to get these guys out of this match without them looking terrible, like rolling up in a schoolboy or something. And the whole thing leading into this, why are the GMs replacing team members? Why do they care so much about which team wins? Right. They're the GM of, of both, both teams. Shows. Why do they manipulate match members when they could just put who they want on the matches? They're the GMs. Right. What's the purpose of these traditional matches? What are they fighting for? Right. Um, I, 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 there's nothing here. I, why do anybody care about winning these matches? It, it, again, I'm a fan of the old traditional ones, man. Right. But I'm a, I don't know. Unless you make it for something, I don't think you can really do these anymore unless there's like – the sole survivor gets a title shot or, or something like that. Or number 30 in the Rumble or something. Right. Something in here, you know, even a crack at like the IC or something, you know, something to right. fight for, man, because I, I can't get over. We all know they're the same brand. Right. Why does Baron freaking Corbin care about his brand? You know, like what, what especially when the draft get? was like a month ago? Yeah. These matches, I, I don't know. And this one I felt was the same. Apparently, to me, Ryan, it was just to push Seth Rollins. The whole purpose of this was to get Seth Rollins built up so now he can lose to Big E. Yeah, that very well could be. Um, I, I agree with darn near everything you said um, with these matches. And the other problem is not only are guys like Finn Balor and then you go into the girls' match like Rhea Ripley, they're not only getting pinned, they're getting pinned in like four seconds. Right. Where a normal match, you kick out of 10 finishers and you take every other crazy move in the world or you get hit with a chair 10 times and da 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 da. And you keep kicking out. Yet in the Survivor Series, you get punched in the head 
and they pin you and it's over. Like it that quick with all of these matches. Right. The other problem with it is because of Raw and SmackDown and AEW and this and that and the other, there are so many shows that we get so many at least six man tag team matches on all these shows all the time that when you get these five on five matches, they're not special anymore. No. Like and they're not all elimination match, but just any eight man tag where it's whoever. Four guys and four guys. Like, it, it takes away from this stuff. It, it's just, it's unnecessary nowadays, man. It, it you, is just yeah. unnecessary nowadays. If you, if you just look to, though, like a match with Big E, Ricochet, and the Viking Raiders, yep. you can get out of that match, right? Those three other dudes can get pinned. Big E, right. even if it's versus Seth Rollins, um, the Dirty Dogs, and some other, you know, Johnny come lately to the game, whatever his name, Austin Theory. Yeah. Seth Rollins could walk out like the yep. honky tonk man did. There's certain guys that can get pinned in these matches, but then there's certain guys, and like you saw it in here, they had to get Bobby Lashley and um, Drew McIntyre out with a double count out, and the fans booed. They were pissed. They were really pissed, but it's the, you, you've booked yourself into a corner. Because especially, I thought that with those two guys specifically coming, yep. I'm like, neither of these guys can afford to lose right here. And that's like when the crowd got hot, too. When those two right. squared off, they did it in the girls' match, too. Right. Same exact thing. Bianca and Sasha get face-to-face. -face. Oh, the crowd finally comes to life because they're the only two anybody cares about. And then they get counted out. And the yep. crowd's pissed. Yep. Like, and, and that's the other thing you have taught the crowd not to accept because people do get pinned and whatnot. Nowadays, you've told people not to accept DQs and count outs and whatever. And you get, how, I don't know how many there were on this show. There had to have been five or six. Just, man. Or, or, or walkouts like Kevin Owens. And I love how Jeff Hardy though, that this is my favorite Jeff Hardy, who the worst moment in his life, the worst moments were his addiction. This is why you don't use those angles. Is cool the team with Sheamus now. It, well, I was going to bring that up. Yes, he did pound him at the end. Sheamus right. did. But, yes, but they're sitting Jeff there Jeff Hardy doing, was cool. Yeah, these two. Sheamus faked a car accident, I believe, to get Hardy arrested at one point. Because For he, drunk driving, with right. he, which he dealt with Real. substance abuse. Yes. And so now these two are doing stereo, whatever, the dual punches to them. And they're just, that's worse than Ricky the Dragon when he was on the Macho Man's team back in the day after he tried to crush his larynx. <laughs> this is even worse. He legit tried to get you to go to jail. Uh, it would have forever. ruined your whole career in wrestling yeah. or whatever. Yeah, tried to take you out. Your whole completely. life. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that was ridiculous. The place does go bonkers for Hardy, though, when he made his. He was the last guy People that People still beat. like those, that dude. There were a couple other things, though. Again, going back to McAfee, undercutting the freaking booking of this show, the, the double count out with Drew and Bobby. Pat just loses his mind again, goes rogue, and he's like, this ref is power hungry. No one wants to see this. They want to see these two guys. This ref is, use common sense is what McAfee said. He goes, this ref should use common sense. People want to see this again. Yes, and WWE didn't give us what we wanted. Unbelievable, man. I don't know how they let this guy talk. I don't know. But, I mean, he's calling, he's saying what everybody's thinking. I, I just can't believe Vince doesn't lose his mind when he says stuff like that. Anyway, right. Seth wins. He beats Hardy. Soul survivor. Anything yep. else on this? Uh, no, I, I, I had you, the Seamus thing as well. You could see it coming when it went down. I forget three to two. As soon as, Mac, as, soon as uh, McIntyre and Bobby were counted out, you were like, Seth Rollins is coming out of this sucker. Yeah. And, it, again, if I can say anything – at least Seth Rollins walked away with a little push tonight. Sure. I mean, if you could say anything, he did. Soul Survivor sets him up to challenge Big E for this title. So. I agree. Completely agree. One other thing at the beginning, Owens with a tribute to Bad News Brown uh, walking out on his team at the beginning. Oh, so, uh, I, I thought yeah. I'd mention this on you. Seth Rollins at the ring apron yelling at him. Do you remember last year's Survivor Series? I don't. Did he say Seth, that? 
Seth Rollins sacrificed himself in the middle. Remember that? He just went out there and laid in the ring and let himself get, like, killed and pinned and eliminated. It was the opening thing. He was, like, sacrificed. And, and then he disappeared for a while. And he oh, went that's up. when he was the savior, right? Yeah, and he, yeah. T- he just – so he's pissed at Ra- uh, KO for leaving when he did a very similar action last year when he just laid out in the ring and let someone – finish him with their finishing move and then he took the pin and fall right away right off the bat I don't remember that yeah i have to go watch that but uh, no no i don't was it worse than this show i don't know <laughs> Dude, I, I think all these survivor series have been terrible i think this is the worst form wow. of all the forms they've done is this brand versus champion versus champion yeah. i think it's the worst form of any of the anything they've done yeah, I, I tend to agree. So that match gets done. Then they have the Roman uh, walking down the hallway. He goes into Vince's office. It's the thing we told you about. Vince was sitting awesome. there at a desk, and he has now the egg like in a showcase thing that you would put like a signed basketball or something. Right. It's in this thing, and that's really everything we just told you. He says $100 million. That's worth about as much as my next contract. Uh, then we have, which I forgot they were even doing this, a brand versus brand battle royal. For now, pizza. Nick. Whew, For there's pizza. a lot to unpack here, as one big fella from Alabama would say. Uh, it starts with entrances where they are walking down the aisle holding boxes of pizza. And there's t- cardboard tables or whatever, folding tables with pizza stacked up on them. Um, nothing says Thanksgiving like Pizza Hut pizza, does it? I mean, is that what you guys eat at your... All the time. Excuse me, Mrs. Hortz, do you have uh, any pumpkin pie? Oh, no, we have Supreme Pies here. What? What are you talking about? Why are we doing product placement for why pizza? Was, why was this not on the pre-show? Thanksgiving. I, I, right? Why was this, this... What was the purpose of this? I know to get a mass over, obviously. Right. But... The, the, this uh, out of nowhere just announced on Friday, I believe, that this was going down. Yeah. To my knowledge. Yeah, um, I, don't I heard remember. It, I heard it on Friday, SmackDown. This was just pointless. A jobber battle, but job bat, job guy battle royal where yeah. they push Omas. That's it. Well, in here, everybody had been saying all the last week or three, and then during this show, I'm so glad the teams aren't wearing red and blue shirts. Well, everybody's wearing red and blue shirts in a battle royal. Mick, what's the purpose? What do they say a battle royal? It's every man for themselves, right? Every man for themselves, yep. Okay, so that totally negates a Royal Rumble or battle royal, whatever. And Raw people were throwing Raw people out of the ring, and SmackDown people were throwing SmackDown people out of the ring. So why even have the shirts? What are we doing? Nothing. What do you get for this match? It, it had nothing to do with brand supremacy, though, or anything. Like, it had what? nothing to do with anything. Yeah, well, it had to do with almost killing everybody. That was yeah. it. 12 yep. eliminated. Could, the one thing I that. did like about it, Ziggler didn't have no shirt on, man. My guy, my guy went in, he didn't have a shirt on. We're he, never going to get He's done, dude. He he's got so tossed done. out immediately. But, <laughs> but, yeah, he didn't have a shirt on. Um which I thought was funny. I don't know. I was, did he get I always, torn off or something? I don't. I, I just AJ up and he didn't have smoked one. him. I, I we're never going to get that. I I thought that would have been a great feud and a great AJ versus Dolph. Yeah. I I, I we're never going to get. I mean, because I don't even want to see it now because Dolph is so He's far down job. the car. Yeah. yeah, card. But he, he that's just a shame. Job guy. I bet those two would have had what Meltzer could actually call a five star match. I mean, those two would have put one on. It, well, not in this company. It'd be three and a quarter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, anything. Else. So, anyway, okay. almost throws out 12. I don't even know. 12, was it 20 guys? So, 12 of the 20. I think 25. it was 25. Yeah. So, there you go. That was that. Um, great. He is slow. He can't move. It's not good. I don't know how he's going to do it on his own. <laughs> no. Um Next match was the tag match, champion, champion, Usos against RK Bro. I was half paying attention to this match. The stuff I did see was okay, but I was, was like looking match. in my phone and whatnot. Finish was awesome. I did see that, and the place went bonkers. Uh, off the top rope comes Uso for the big splash. 
RKO's him on top of his partner and uh, got the pin. Go ahead, man, because I really wasn't paying too close of attention to this match. Uh, I'll I, be I did finish was great. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good match. One of the better matches on the card. Shouts out to Randy Orton. He became the all-time pay-per-view WWE guy. Mm-hmm. Um, tonight and tomorrow, he's going to become the most uh, matches won, I believe, on Raw or fought yeah, on Raw. most matches ever on Raw. Passing um, Kane, I know, for the, uh, the pay-per-view mark. And, anyway. and the guy keeps reinventing. This RKO out of nowhere is legit, though. He still... It seems constantly we're seeing him hit it with, and it looks cool. Yeah, uh, I mean this this guy is the embodiment of what a wrestler should be. I like RK Bro. I like the Usos. These tag teams, again, like you said with Roman, if these two tag teams are ten, I'll even go worse than the singles. <laughs> the next tag teams are like fives or fours. Yeah, like they they have no, and you gave this away. Um, again. I'm not mad that RK Bro won, I'm, but I am mad the Usos lost, especially on a night like this where they need the Usos to be on the roll. They need the whole bloodline to be winning. Um, well, maybe I, that starts to break up a little bit, and that can I guess feed into the Rock coming. Maybe because he maybe. starts treating them like crap because they keep losing. I don't know. But overall, it, it was a good match. Just another freebie, though. Here's the two best tag teams in the WWE with no angle for free. Here you go. Universe. Yeah. With no, no, uh, didn't matter. Nope. Didn't, didn't matter that who won, who lost didn't matter. They're just going to go back to their show tomorrow. Okay. So then we, uh, we go back to the office. The managers are in there and the egg is gone. Someone has stolen the egg. Uh, he tells Pierce Vince, that is tells Pierce, Hey, interview everybody, find out who stole this egg, and if we have to do it tomorrow on Raw, we'll do it tomorrow on So, so this it's is going to Raw. Vince is back on TV now, and I just am sitting here going, this, this whole Roman rock thing better not be revolving around some piece of whatever from a movie. It, it better not, man. <laughs> that's all I that's all I was thinking this whole time. This better not have anything to do with this egg. Anyway. So then the girls five on five match. Dude, this was bad. This was very bad. Incredibly bad. Flow. Um going back to what we said on the last one, it's the same thing. People are getting pinned that don't need to get pinned. Bianca was down four to one. She comes all the way back, like you said, with Seth. You knew right away, wow, well, Bianca's going to wipe all these people out. And she did. Right. She just starts eliminating people in one second. Right. You know, but these matches don't work anymore. It, like, it didn't. Today's it had day nothing age, they did. It doesn't work. Even Shotzi pulled Sasha off the apron, and Sasha was down for like five minutes. Yes. After just being pulled off. And then I don't know who did it. I wrote it down on here. Um, someone did like a flip into the ropes and knock oh Bianca and just touched the ropes and knocked Natalia, I believe off the ropes. And she was down for several minutes. The entire SmackDown team was down while Bianca and Sasha went at it. And all of a sudden they all got up at the same time. Yeah. It's just bad, man. I, I mean, yeah, you got Bianca over Bianca got the win. Great. Um, this Tony Storm girl, I guess she got a little push. Again, I'm not seeing it yet. I'm not saying she's terrible or anything, but she hasn't done anything. You know? Yeah, that's just you gotta give me something here. Um, but dude, I was gonna say this. How about before we and then bad night for the king and queen who just won their freaking titles yeah. at the uh-huh. or their crowns at the last yeah. freaking pay-per-view. Both of them have done squat since winning these crowns. Yeah. I mean well, and they both got pinned today. Yeah. Uh, the queen in like a second. Yep. Yeah. I don't think she eliminated anybody either. The queen didn't get anybody out. I don't think so. Um, I got a couple oh. things just because we tend to do this. And I don't mean to be mean to this girl, but my gosh, she's going to fight Liv. Becky for the title. Liv Morgan comes out. Zero reaction when she comes out. When she eliminates Tony Storm, the crowd just groaned. Now, I don't watch NXT, as everybody knows who listens to this, so I know she was a big deal down there, 
and um, people liked her. But as you just said, they haven't done anything with her up. So I don't know if it's because no one knew who she was or they did know who she was and they didn't want her to get eliminated. But for all these people that love Liv Morgan, she sure as heck wasn't over today at all. Now, they did boo when she got pinned. They booed. Um, but, yeah, they were just indifferent the whole time. The only thing anybody cared about in this match at all is when Sasha and Bianca finally went at it. Yep. They went crazy. They were asleep the whole rest of the time. And, dude, another mix-up. How about Sasha actually rolling in before the count? And the ref still keeps They counted. Up. She's like, in the ring. We've seen a million times a wrestler just partly roll under the thing <laughs> yes, and, and roll, roll back, back out to break the count. The woman was literally three-fourths of her <laughs> boots were hanging the only, out. And, yeah. and the ref just, I, I mean, just so many things that looked bad in this match. Right. That did not flow or and you know what? That's also when you got a million people, you got ten people moving all over the ring. It's hard to flow still, too. So, I mean, I'll give it that. But, no, this was not a good match. I guess I'm glad Bianca won. It yeah, helps her. great year um, for Bianca, man. I mean, she's yeah. other than the SummerSlam debacle. And the fans still like her. I mean, mm -hmm. she thank goodness SummerSlam didn't end her. She had a pull tonight. There were a lot of people chanting EST, which mm -hmm. is good. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Great year for her, man. Way to cap the year. Yeah. Outside of SummerSlam, she just dominated the division, wins the Rumble, wins the main event of Mania, and now this. Um, great year for her. One other thing, I don't know anything about this girl either other than she used to drive a tank, and her last name used to be Blackheart. Now it's just Shotzi. She has awesome. fallen by way of Kidman and Goldberg and uh, all these other people that just got their last name. Riddle, <laughs> we're yeah. just calling you your last name now. This chick. Okay, I have seen her wrestle. Dude, she came off the top rope to splash Liv, and I thought she killed her. Like, she hit so hard that hard. I think she, she she scared herself. Like, if you like, look she at the like she trained in AEW or something. <laughs> I, mean, like she, I mean, she almost killed this person. Dude, the look on her own face when she hit, she was like, oh, crap. You know? And I know. And she got absolutely zero height off the rope. She just kind of fell on her. Then she goes back on top, and she's going to cross body Bianca, I believe it was. And again, no air. She just kind of like, like girl makes Liv Morgan look good. I, I mean, that's I, I mean, this she's not Dude, Michael Jordan. This girl is not. There was no, no hang time here. I mean, she literally just kind of collapsed off the ropes it was bad in my opinion that sucked bad she hasn't even looked good in in her interactions and talking with sasha i'm not seeing and you know what maybe it's her gimmick again I, i'm not gonna ditch on people right away it's people early can be, it's early but man it's a rough start for this young lady yeah i i don't i, I don't know man i don't know Great year for Bianca, though. Awesome uh, year. More countouts in this as well. You you mentioned yeah. Sasha. So then we got Kayla backstage. Heyman's walking. That's where we told you she said Brock's suspension is no longer indefinite. Whatever that right. means. That's another rock tease, if you ask me. Let's hope. And then uh, there we go. We go to the last match, which we talked about. Um, man. Just I, I again, I was not expecting a lot out of this show, Nick, and it wasn't good. I mean, and it's almost like the way they built it, they've been building matches for the future. They've been building Becky against Liv Morgan. They've been building Roman. They've been building uh, Kevin Owens and Seth against Big E. They didn't build this pay-per-view at all. It was almost just like, let's just get through it. And they've been building all this other stuff. And as many people got hurt as it helped on this pay-per-view, I think. As many people took a backward step as a frontward. Big E took a backward step. I mean, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think the Usos match helped the Usos. I don't think, not that it hurt Charlotte Flair, but I don't think it helped Charlotte Flair. They, these champions that got pinned wasn't good. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, well, just the matches weren't good. The five on five oh. matches to me were the not builds, good. The builds, the story, no. Yep. I would say this pay per view is a two, <laughs> maybe a three. I well, if a five is worth, out of 10, if a yeah. five is worth watching, yeah. this was not. I was sitting wishing I was doing other things as this was going on. I'm not yeah. trying to be, and you know, I'm a WWE guy. I'm not an yeah. AEW. I like. I was. I'm sitting there going, man. There's sports on. There's you know. I got games I can play in the other room. I can go to bed. You know, like, <laughs> I mean, like th- this was just a bad pay per view. I, I really yeah. do think, especially coming off of what me and you thought was the best pay per view of the year. Yeah, I, I thought Crown Jewel was very good. Well, now the question is, where do we go? Because we have no December pay per view. We now have five weeks or six, whatever it is. Um, until day one and that's going to be and we don't know what the heck that is because we or if it's just going to be a normal pay-per-view or what they're going to do um and they've already built like we said a bunch of these other matches so are they going to be on raw and smackdown or are they going to build these for five weeks going into day one where do you think they go here with some of this stuff and i mean again i told you what i think the rock will be on day one that's what i think it's got to be Roman Brock at day one. It ha- because what else does Roman do for this period of time? Right. For the next six. It's got to be with Rumble at the least. Rumble I mean, at the even, least. Even okay, or the latest. I just can't even see him fighting Brock at the Rumble. Because who would Roman fight right now? I, I mean, I, right. I don't see anybody. I mean, he's going to happy Corbin. <laughs> Like I, well, he's I, already I mean, fought Woods, right? Right. You know, he's had his new day. That out for he's, another He fought weeks. Kofi this summer. So, you know, he's already done that. You know, I, I don't know who else. I, he's not going to fight Sheamus. I don't want to watch him fight Jeff Hardy. I mean, Drew. maybe Hardy. Can... He... Drew's the know. only guy who's at least even a main event caliber right. dude. There's no other main event caliber people. I don't think Drew McIntyre Roman Reigns at this point in time is big enough to put on on New Year's Day versus football in the Winter Classic. Yeah, I, agree. I don't. They may. I mean, that. I, I, I don't know what's going to happen, but I got to assume Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar at day one-ish. Um, you you got to assume something Big E, Seth Rollins is going to continue. Interesting thing is how Kevin Owens is right. going to fit into this equation. Is right. and, and everybody's kind of up in the air if Kevin Owens is staying in WWE, is right. he AEW bound? Right. You know, we don't know that, you know. Um, I'm interested to see RK Bro. I'm scared Orton's going to be the bad guy. I, I'm really scared. I hope I people think, are wrong because you keep hearing that. But I hope they're wrong. What's the point? Right. If or we've seen it. And then Riddle, I'm telling you right now, Riddle will be stuck in mid-card forever if he's the guy that gets turned on. And he, with this gimmick, Riddle has to be the bad guy. He, it's the only way this is cool. I, I would it, love it. it works out. We've already seen Orton do this. And you know what? Another thing, Orton's getting to a point in time. The fans love cheering this freaking They're going to cheer him, yeah. They love Randy him. Orton. So, you know what? And, and I'll tell you, it would shock. I mean, I'm not saying it's Shawn Michaels, Marty Jannetty, but no one would see Riddle turning. Yeah. No, everybody I've ever heard, that, oh, you know they're going to break up eventually. Everybody's right. like, oh, yeah, Orton turns on him, right? Like, I Please guess, but way. no, I would go the other way all day, every day. No doubt. I, but you just have a lot of room. I don't know what the Usos do. Um uh, who do they fight? It doesn't. They, there isn't anybody. Is there another yeah. tag team on the show? No. Nope. Uh, I assume Liv Morgan's not touching Becky. <laughs> so Becky's going to ride with that belt until... Mania. I, I, yeah, probably Mania. And I mean, maybe she fights Bianca again um, at Mania. But... Yeah. And you, you know she's not going on the... The other thing I was thinking, you know she's not going to go on the other show. She's staying with Seth. Oh, yeah. 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 So she's not dropping this belt to have a match versus the only way this would work is if Charlotte dropped the belt when that won the Rumble and came after Becky's belt for a Mania match. Right. Because I don't think they're going to, I could be wrong, but I don't think they're going to split Seth and Becky up with their kid and they're on the road and no. everything like that. I, I just don't no. see that happening. No chance. No chance. And, um, you know, Bailey, 
is we don't know where she's at. Um, she she at was now? at a basketball game or something. She was at, I think it was a basketball game, whatever it was. She still had a knee brace on, which is weird. And it was a big Don Joy, one of those big metal ones, you know, that they give you after you tear your ACL. Like, when did she have her surgery? Like, last Tuesday? Like, she shouldn't be wearing a brace still. And That was she, very strange. So maybe she had a setback. Both of your champs are heel, and I do not want to see face um, Bailey. Well, I but also I, don't want to see ding dong hello. No, Bailey. me neither. I wanted to go back to the hard ass that she was, pardon my French, huh. when, I, when she was my favorite wrestler during 2020. <laughs> right, right. You know, right. Um, yeah, and I mean, Sasha will be in the mix as well. Uh, it'll yeah. be interesting with the women, you know. It'll be interesting. And well, it tells you what they think about uh, Nikki uh, A.S.H., the fact that she's the world tag team champion. And they, and they split, split her from her partner and put her partner in the Survivor Series match and not her. That tells you, well, and that is what they should think because I, that's I, one of the worst characters I've ever seen. I wonder, maybe that'll take a turn. Maybe there's a jealousy factor now. Maybe they can move her a different way. Some sort of anti-hero if you will or something different i don't know because this just her being Terrible. sean helms yeah, yeah version yeah. negative 2.0 is not working no it's very bad and she was yeah. the world champion a few months ago don't forget that Pathetic. um yeah tag belts man i don't even know what you can do with any of the tag belts because there's not enough tag there are no tag teams there aren't any so, I mean, they got the, the two Latin dudes now that are coming up a little bit. But. We've said this before, Ryan. The U.S. title should be specific to one show. The IC title should be specific to one show. There should be one, world one tag team champion, one world champion, and they float between shows. That's, that's what you get. You got to do the workload if you're going to yep. carry the belt, man. Yeah. If but you're making you the money, you got to work. You don't have enough tag teams to do this multiple belt thing. Um, The tag champs should be on both shows. The world champ should be on both shows. And then you only get to see the IC champ on SmackDown. Yeah. You only get to see the U.S. champ on Raw. Yeah. It just makes too much sense. And then you don't get situations like tonight where your world champion gets pinned, you know? Right. So uh, by the other champion. So the, and then you know that you're the champion of the B show. Right. Um, Big E, like we said, we see him going with Seth here or Owens, maybe a three-way, I don't know, whatever. Um, Fingers Roman. crossed that Kofi's out. That Big E runs with this. Xavier, maybe. I, I, who else is Big E fighting at WrestleMania? Right. Is he going to be the champ at WrestleMania? I don't know. Do they put it back on Bobby? I, I mean, I we've tried that. I would love to see Kofi as a heel challenging him. I know I've been harping on this. hundred times, yeah. Your viewers it's... are probably sick of me saying it, but I, I really want to see Kofi as a heel. Let's hope. Yeah. Well, and, you know, Lashley, they built a little bit tonight. He was killing guys out there today yeah. before he got counted out. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with him. Um, anything else on the night, Nick? No, just a really bad pay-per-view. Yeah, very disappointing. Very disappointing. Uh, Definitely will never watch this one again. I will never watch this show ever again. <laughs> there is no reason to ever watch zero, this zero again. Ch- there's, there's not even a moment in here that we would put on to show someone. Like, no. I would just never see this pay-per-view again. No, no, not at all. Not at all. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty sad, man, because it it, 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 I'm very disappointed when it's the Survivor Series and a lot of older people like us have those feelings. Like, I've, I'll go watch 1989 for the 400th time before I ever watch this again. I'll go watch 87 through 90 over and over. I love all those, man. Yeah. But, again, again, I get it, different time. Um, they just got to find some way to make this pay-per-view worth something without – having champion versus champion, you know, like I don't survive where you survive to do something or gain something or earn something. Otherwise this pay-per-view is going to be continuously a throwaway and just a pay-per-view that hurts guys. 
Well, and I think and you, you mentioned it before, and I think it was Woods who said something. And I mentioned you you become number thirty in Survivor Series or something, or in the Rumble. I think Woods even brought that up. Like, however many people win, you should get thirty through twenty five or twenty six, whatever it is. Like, you have a drawing or whatever, you automatically something. I mean, right. So the wrestlers know it too. They know it's kind of stupid. It makes right. no sense. So, anyway. Nick, it's late, man. That pay-per-view yeah. went on for a while. Thanks, brother. We will hey, uh, see you again. Oh, we'll be looking forward to day one-ish, hopefully. Yeah, well, hopefully, man. And hopefully uh, we get more rock teases so we at least know that we're headed in the right direction. If you like this, if you got other, if you like this show, let us know. Leave a comment. Please, do. please like. Please subscribe. Get that algorithm going so we can get more people watching this. And, uh, yeah, if you liked it or if you got ideas for booking here for the future or if you think we're nuts, The Rock ain't coming, he's not, let us know. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. See ya. Pleasure's all yours, Bucky boys.